Hi YouTube. I have missed you guys so much. I'm getting teary. No, I just looked outside and my eyes are watering. I'm so sorry. It's like I disappeared off the face of YouTube and I'm I'm so sorry. I have had the worst palaver with my freaking camera sd card whatever like it's been awful i went to events i vlogged a day in the life for you guys i did so much and my sd card just wanted to not work like it wouldn't show me anything i'd recorded it wasn't transferring onto my phone it wasn't transferring onto the macbook like i had literally the worst few weeks of my life and i've been trying to sort it out and i just came to the conclusion that I need to just suck it up and move on. So I had posted about my events on Instagram. Um, so if you follow me there, you would have seen. But I had vlogged it for you guys and it wiped all the content. But it's not the end of the world. It's fine. It's okay. We're back. We're going to talk about, you know, what's been going on. I have a super, super, super duper exciting PR haul for you guys. Um, from like the last two weeks I've had some of the most exciting PR ever that I borderline cried when I opened my parcel that's how deep it was so I hopefully 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 fingers crossed inshallah I'm gonna have a lot of exciting content coming up because it is wedding season and my cousin is getting married so we have so much happening and I'm hoping to record a lot of it for you guys so yeah you'll see all my outfits makeup looks get ready with me's and i promise you i am gonna bring makeup content back on here i've currently just been posting makeup content on shorts um because i've just been depressed about my camera situation but it wasn't the camera that was a problem and that was my main issue even though it's got insurance but i was like for god's sake like the camera is not bugging out on me right before the wedding but it's fine it's all good we are going to get into this pr haul i'm going to attempt to go in order of literally what's in front of me and we're going to go from there but i have missed you guys so much we're gonna start off, I had two of these by the way, but my sister loved it so much that she stole one. Um, well, I let her have it. But um, there's a small business called By Ellie. And if you don't know, get to know because she does one of the strongest brow gels known to mankind. Like you could go through a whole tsunami with that brow gel and your brows are not gonna budge. Um, actually, I've got it here somewhere, if I can get it out this it's this brow hold although she's released a um like wand version of it and i really 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 want to try that but i got sent this quite a while back and i love it but basically she has lip balms and i have a really 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 bad habit of picking at my lips um it's a not nice habit but i just do it and that lip balm is probably one of like three lip balms in the whole wide world that actually healed my lips. Um, and she basically changed, so I've actually finished mine, but it was in a squeezy tube, the old one, and it was strawberry scented, flavored, whatever. But she's released new packaging and I love it. It is giving like expensive. This though is a new, I was gonna say new flavor, new scent look how bougie this packaging is but it's in the in the shade in the scent in the flavor brown sugar and it quite literally is brown do you see that sorry i find this really icky though when my people just shut it and it makes me really ugh sorry if you can hear cars can't help that but it's so nourishing on the lips and it smells so good but basically this is a brown sugar one and she also released the strawberry one again but in this new packaging um but like i said my sister really liked that one so she's got that and i have this one so next we have rimmel rimmel sends like monthly pr so they usually tend to send like their best sellers or if they've released something new and this time we got the wonder freeze brow lamination gel that is what she looks like 
and then we have the thrill seeker mascara you guys have probably seen this i've seen it all over instagram and then i got it and i was like yes um but this is super duper 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 good like i have been using a lash serum i don't know if you guys can tell but um i bloody hope you can because i can um but my lashes are actually visible now so i care about what mascaras i'm using i barely had lashes before so i was not fussed about mascaras but this is a super duper good mascara and it's so affordable it's drugstore most of the best mascaras are from the drugstore also this can we talk about this because for a drugstore this is the brow lamination gel so you have the actual wand right and then if i pop that off you literally have like a brush on each side like a brow comb and for the drugstore that is amazing so rimmel sent us those rimmel sent me a crap ton of lip glosses and that was a good like five months ago and i still have some to this day and i've been distributing them to my sister and my cousin and my other sister and my friend and they're just never ending so thank you rimmel next i got an spf from nature's spell i am really not a fan of pineapple which is why i thought i'd hate this but i actually don't hate it and i also love spfs that come out in a pump like this and it's just so easy to apply i love it but um yeah this is the nature spell vitamin c and pineapple spf 50 face fluid i love like liquidy spfs i don't love like a thick gel spf although i'm saying that and i'm obsessed with the ultraviolet one so maybe i'm lying but yeah this one is very good and i have been this year especially because i learned just how important spf is not that i wasn't using it before this but i was a bit lazy this year i've been on my spf game so the more the merrier then we got this um package i got this I want to say a week ago and I have never heard of this brand but I searched it up and it's some um, like luxury skincare brand and I saw it on the Harrods website so yeah made in Japan I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce that but okay maybe I will I believe it's Decort Decort Decorte it just sounds bougier when you say it like that but they sent over some moisture intensive recovery radiance masks i was actually showing this to my mum, and i was like we need to do this together um oh my god i've actually put it all away but i also got a big fat delivery from a korean skincare brand i've had so much korean skincare come but if you follow me on instagram you'll see that i actually review them all on there so make sure you're following me on instagram but these i really 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 want to try and i was like to my mum we'll do it together and i've had some dry ass skin because uk summer is not summer then they sent over these two you guys are right in the window so i don't know if you can actually see but one is the hydrating lotion treatment and the other one is a micro radiance emulsion emulsion treatment i actually used this last night the um treatment the micro radiance and my skin did indeed look very radiant when i woke up they sent over these three minis there's an awakening day cream a tightening eye cream and a sculpting balm cream and let me just take one of them out because it literally is the cutest thing ever like i would just keep buying minis because how freaking adorable is that i also love when brands do this actually because you're not wasting a shit ton of your product they send minis if you love it you tell them and they'll send you a full size but um yeah. then we got a package from hair by sam knight i don't get too much hair stuff because obviously i don't make like hair videos but um i occasionally get sent like hair stuff like shampoos conditioners 
Um, I can still give you my review, I just can't make a video on it. But I love my hair products. I love, love, love recently, especially um, because the wedding is coming up and stuff and we'll have like girly events beforehand. I've been on the hunt for like a good volumizing spray, good hair mousse, all that stuff. So I do love trying new stuff but by the way i love that it's pink because pink is like my favorite color you know if you couldn't tell but um there's a cute little bag it says hair by sam knight and i also love when there's a cute bag that i can just keep for after because i be using these as makeup bags when i go out so it's very handy so we have the sea salt spray this is the super lift volumizing spray this I'm excited to try. This is a nourishing balm. I need to read up how you're supposed to use that. We have a Barely There Texture Mist. Also that, I want a good like texture spray, not a volumizing spray, but just to add a bit of texture to my hair. But that is her. I love the packaging by the way. And then the last thing we got is the Multitasking Heat Protection Styling Mist. I adore the colour of this bottle, but that is what she looks like. So I'm going to be giving all of that a go and letting you guys know how I feel. Oh my god, I forgot to address this at the start of the video, although I don't think you can tell, but I filmed a blush review before this and I trialled out two different shades. So if you've been looking at me this entire time thinking she looks like she's got two different blushes on, I do. I do. And then I'll put the same powder one on top, but you could probably still tell. Moving on, we got sent some skincare from Fresh. If you guys don't know Fresh, you might if I show you this, because this is the first ever product I saw from Fresh. Um, this is their Rose Deep Hydration Facial Toner, and I believe it's actually got rose petals in it they do some of the prettiest looking skincare i've ever seen next we got the soy face cleanser i've actually been using this the last two three days and i love what it's doing for my skin it's just a very gentle cleanser next we got the deep hydration oil infused serum this is another one from the rosy collection um also I just love glass products like I love it but this is what she looks like so cute and then last but not least we have the fresh uh deep hydration face cream and that is what she looks like these smell so good by the way rose water in itself is just so good for the skin so thank you fresh because I love these this one I literally got like three days ago and I need to actually film a review on it but I did swatch it on my face and let me just tell you I'm in love and you're going to be in love as well. I believe it's pronounced Audacite. I believe because I did check the Instagram but it's a SPF but it's a tinted SPF. It's SPF 50 I believe. This is in the shade 02 and if you saw on my instagram i did show you guys what it looks like on the back of the hand and it's stunning it's got a very light tint to it but it's super glowy as well and it's just like good for your skin it's an spf but it's making you look good too and i swatched it on like one side of my face and i would leave the house just like that like it looked so good the first event we went to was a pure soul event and it was to celebrate the new dive in collection by Toradin which is a Korean skincare brand this was such a fun event everything was blue it was like water hydration like that kind of vibe we made phone charms I met some lovely people we had a question like quiz thing and we had to go around and find all the answers and then people won gifts and the CEO of the brand came and the team from Korea came. It was so good. So I'm going to show you guys what we got in the goodie bag from the Toradin event. First of all, we got these cute little, just Toradin little net bags. 
and everyone got this for completing the quiz we got a hyaluronic acid serum mask a face mask i have so many masks that i'm losing count but i need to actually get through all of them um we have the Toradin Soothing Cream. I've actually used this a few times and I really, really like what it does for the skin. And I love the packaging in this whole collection. But that is what she looks like. And it comes with a cute little scoopy spoon. Then we got the Hyaluronic Acid Skin Booster. Again, if I can get it out the packaging on these i am freaking obsessed like look at it it's so cute we got the toridan multi pads they're like exfoliating pads and they're usually soaked in a liquid of some kind um and i love 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 them i've been using the anua ones and they are so good so i'm very excited to try these then we got the toridan dive in sun cream again really never gonna run out of sun creams but that is what she looks like i love the shade of baby blue by the way it, that's not really relevant but the packaging is cute and if the packaging is cute i'm most likely gonna go for it then we got the toridan serum this is what my friend was talking about and she said it's super duper good and i've used it twice but look how gorgeous and i've had to keep all this stuff in the box number one because i have no storage but the main reason was because i was going to film this for you guys so i didn't want to unbox it all and then i can't record this and then last but not least we got a toridan toner and it came with this super cute bag and they put a pen where is it it's in there and you can actually color on this bag um but i thought i'd leave that for jamal or something i've just not got around to giving it to him next we went to the lumen 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 event this is the cutest bag ever that my sister is probably going to steal because she loves tote bags this event was so cute it was in a new um it was the emory hotel i believe it was on a beautiful balcony suite and it was this whole like apartment and there was snacks there was drinks and it was basically to celebrate the launch of the brand launching in boots when i tell you they were too kind so we went in we got matched to the new foundation which i did tell them but before this event when the foundation launched they sent me three shades of the foundation and before that they sent me three shades of the skin tint but obviously there was the foundation and the skin tint at the event so we all got matched again and we got sent so many goodies so we got goodies from the actual event and then anything that they didn't have there they posted it out to us after so i quite literally have a whole pretty much i could fill a backpack of these lumen goodies can you guys actually see all of that we got the lumen glow by the way i might be saying that wrong but we're just gonna go with it it's a lumen glow renew night cream i probably won't open every single product but there it is why do my hands look like that then we got the lumen glow moisturizer so there's pretty much the same packaging i believe also it's this brand originated in finland i believe don't quote me on that but they're just like i love how simple the packaging is and it's just easy it's quick it's cute it's eye-catching it's bright i'm not gonna open all of these but you'll get the gist we have the lumen glow boost essence and we have oh my god that looks so cute we have the lumen arctic berry oil cocktail cute cute i actually saw this on my explore page the other day so i need to start using mine then we have the lumen glow awakening eye cream and i did use this once or twice because i just love me a good eye cream then we have the instant glow uv primer with spf 30 again i love me makeup products that have spf in them already it's a two-in-one and it just feels good going on my face it's the hydra gel mask 
and the girl that was there said that she either just puts it on and leaves it on for a bit or she puts it on and she goes to sleep and then in the morning her skin is all refreshed and new and just hydrated so i'm very excited to try that then we have the intense hydration moisturizer and the hydration recharge overnight cream then we have the dewy glow setting spray and this they all were raving about it's the oat milk oil cleanser also these products are vegan and this is fragrance free i know a lot of people have an issue with stuff that has a fragrance i'm not too fast but if it helps this is fragrance free i'm eating my words this is the serum in foundation in shade five so i got sent shade i want to say three four and five if that's even the shade names i think it is the shade names that is what the foundation looks like and she gave me this by the way i know it looks dark but it's this gorgeous like it's almost skin tinty because it's a serum foundation so i got shade five only because i told her that they had already sent me some so she said take a deeper shade for when you tan and we got skin tints um i actually i got one at the event but they had already sent me some in pr and there's more in here but i gave some to one to my sister because it was too deep for my skin tone this is super exciting but while we were at the event they had these illuminators on display so they have bronzer blush and highlighter i'm gonna show you guys them because they're literally the cutest thing ever um and i told her i loved the look of it so she was like oh it's in your goodie bag but we have other shades and then she sent me more shades out but that is what the bronzer looks like is that not the cutest thing ever that was the blush this is in the shade Pink Blossom and I'm sure that's what she had on. That is the Instant Illuminizer in the shade Golden Hour. My last PR parcel. It's from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I literally could cry my eyes out. I did internally scream and shed some tears because Anastasia Beverly Hills was probably... Sorry, I'm trying not to get like the sun i need to finish this before the sun is covering my whole face but it was one of the first ever brands that i high-end brands that i was dying for products from and it was a contour palette and then the norvina collection dropped and you know there was a brow pomade i still use the brow pomades to this day i currently have abh brow freeze on my brows because i prefer that i feel like my brows look too dark when i fill them in but if i were to fill them in which I occasionally do for content or something, I will always reach for my brow pomade because it's just a trusty brow product and I know I can rely on it. We got sent some base goodies like dewy skin products because I love dewy skin and then some new releases. So they sent the dewy setting spray. I actually saw this in Harrods the other day, but look how freaking cute the packaging is. I'm obsessed I literally love that so much and I would buy that simply for the packaging but I do love dewy skin I'm dewy skin over matte skin any day so I'm excited to try that next we got the glow seeker highlighter I was actually going to order this on cult beauty like three weeks ago and then I was like do I even wear highlighter that much I wear it here and there but otherwise I'm more of a liquid glowy girl i haven't actually reached for powder highlighters in a long time but i what on earth have i done to that let me open it properly it's so heavy by the way but it looks like that and it's in the shade sun idol look how pretty this is throwing me back to amrezy highlighter which i still have and i actually have a brand new one as well and I refuse to do anything with that because they don't sell it anymore and it was limited edition and I have the one that I'm currently still using and I have this one not this one a brand new one but now we have this one to try so I'm very excited next they sent over two of their stick highlighters this is more up my street we have pink diamond and dripping in gold I prefer like liquid or stick highlighters over powder then we got sent this big huge box that let me not drop it look at that 
literally nearly cried i did cry i won't take you through each individual product because i'm making this video way too long but we have all the new blurring serum blushes and i actually this is what i reviewed and let me just open one because i need you guys to see the freaking packaging because i was so look at that applicator on that like if that is not the most unique thing you've ever seen this was on this side by the way but i did put a powder over it so it's not a true reflection but you'll see it on my instagram so we got the five shades of that and then we got four shades of the lip velvets i have seen so many reviews on these and i'm super duper excited i love an applicator like that this is throwing me back to what was that brand that did the velvety lip like mousses bourgeois i feel like was the name of the brand but then it just like went extinct but i've seen it again in superdrug so it's obviously back but we got sent the lip velvets and i'm very excited to try these that for me was enough by the way i was literally screaming and happy at that and then this bottom drawer pulled out and i was like shut up but we basically have i'll just pull it out for you we have four lip liners and four lip glosses and one of the lip liners is actually one that i've had my eye on i saw this girl i'm gonna find her instagram but she was talking about lip like cool toned lip liners and she used one from here and i remember seeing it and i was like i want that so bad and it was actually out of stock in harrods when i went but it's in the pr parcel so thank you so 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 much anastasia beverly hills they literally made my entire month Thank you to every single brand that actually sent me something and I am going to be so active on YouTube. I promise you guys, this was the last time I ghosted and I'm, I'm here and I'm here to stay. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and like I promise I'll have more content up for you guys. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff because i'm back and i am actually back this time i hope you guys enjoyed watching just as much as i enjoyed opening all of this stuff and i am gonna make this a series so every time we get pr we'll share it on here so we can see what we get and then when we hit a certain amount of subscribers i might do a giveaway where you guys can actually win this stuff so not this stuff but pr um and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed thank you to every single brand that sent me something i love you guys mm -hmm.